What's going on, MSFers? Doolum here, back again with another video. And today, we're going to be going over my Cosmic Crucible Week 1, and we're going to be talking about my Week 2 defense. Um, all the stuff that we've learned from Week 1. Um, so, for fight number one, we went against a Vic, who uh, actually reached out to me on YouTube and on Discord. Super cool guy. Um, so, round number one, my attacks here. So, came in with an MOE into an extreme BK, and I knew MOE was not going to beat this, um, but it was a pretty good sack, honestly. Um, but it did really well, actually. It did a lot of damage, killed three people, almost killed uh, BK and Cap, actually, and then came in with new warriors to clean it up. Um, this was the last fight I did, so this worked pretty well. Room number two, um, fight one, I made a little bit of a mistake um, because I didn't have Vulture or Skirmisher. This was the first time I was trying this counter, and I'm sure this counter has made its rounds now. Um, so this fight is really awesome. Um, definitely go check out a replay of this on my YouTube channel. Um, this, this fight's just really, really cool. Essentially, Vulture rewinds everybody. Red Hulk rewinds the middle. Apoc gets the punch. Uh, and then he gets to target Super Scroll, but since uh, Vulture went first, he has slow because he used his ultimate. Um, so when you actually punch Super Scroll, Vulture assists, puts the Skirmisher, and then you get the triple tap, and it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. Um, this counter even worked against a three diamond Super Scroll as well, so uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, honestly. Uh, room number three, SD, CGR going into Spider Society, super straightforward. Room number four, we ran the Cabal, Zemo, and... Um, and Zuggernaut into a Mercs for Money pre-taunt with Guardians. So they had offense up and then Panda as well. Um, as you can see, both the villain uh, crits died, but Cabal got through it because my Cabal is massive. Uh, room number five, we had M or we had Eternals, North Star, Omega Red, and BTS. So taking off the revives and just doing some good stuff, essentially. It's, it's Infinity Watch. Uh, room number six, we've got Tangled. Uh, Kestrel, Iron Man, Infinity War, Nova going into a Darkhold with Quicksilver. It's the same fight we've done over and over again forever. Um, but for defense, so in room number one, he tried to um, Kang, Titania, Dorm, Doom, Apoc, my superior six here. And now I do have a Skirmisher on GGC, uh, Lizard, and Craven. So they're putting out ability blocks and all their AoE attacks. Uh, then he used the Mirror matchup, which did surprisingly well, honestly. And then he cleaned up with Eternals Tangled, which I think was a little bit overkill just for this, but that's okay. Uh, room number two, he used Cabal Zemo Vulture on the Hive Sus. So he used Cabal here. I didn't have to, which was really, really good for me. Uh, room number three, Apoc, New Warriors, taken out of BK Spider Society. Now it's a little, a little gross, but it does work. Um, so it's definitely an option if you're in a pinch and need SD somewhere else, maybe to take out a five-piece. Uh, a four-piece superior six with a uh, an extra throw-in character, so it's a possibility. Um, it's it's an option, not a not a great option, but it's an option. Uh, room number four could not clear at all. He tried to use MOE Dorm three times. Um, you'll see, I didn't even have a pre taunt here, so MOE Dorm actually should have worked. Um, but I don't know what happened here because he combat canceled three times. Um, he should have just been able to one-shot Old Man Logan with uh, Kang and Titania, but he did not, so that works well for me. Uh, room number five, I had Illuminati five-piece with the uh, Iron Man, obviously. Again, MOE Dorm didn't work. MOE Doom didn't work, and then SD Doom did work. So SD Doom worked pretty well, which is uh, interesting. Still only a 57, though, so not the best efficiency uh, all at all, honestly. But hey, it got the clear, so that's pretty cool. Room number six, he used MOE Dorm against my Extreme. Um, pretty standard there. So round number one was a win. Now for round number two, we went against Gorilla, and this guy is at about 180 million TCP. So this fight was all... This was a rough one. Um, so here in room number one, he had placement incorrect here. So he had Lizard next to Green Goblin Classic. So that's why I was able to SD this, even though he had a Lizard. Because if Lizard is next to Green Goblin Classic, you have Ms. Marvel still able to rewind Green Goblin Classic. Then it takes off the taunt from Lizard. And then Black Cat's able to stun Green Goblin. And then it goes from there. Um, but I use Dormammu here as a little bit of insurance policy. Because this team is obviously 3 Diamond G19 massive um so i didn't want to take any chances dorm did die um, but it was a clear not the most efficient but it was a one shot uh room number two this is where i messed up i changed vulture to a raider um and unfortunately he did not want to uh put the crit 
on sus when uh, Vulture assisted, so he didn't put the vulnerable on him, so Apoc didn't triple tap, so Sus lived, and then Sus decided to blow up my entire team. So really, really annoying there. Um, it was just a stupid mistake, honestly. I should have had Vulture a Skirmisher, and this would have worked just fine. Uh, room number three, I knew Warriors, this new Avengers Kestrel... I don't know. I don't know what this is. I, I don't know. It's full three diamonds, so and new Warriors still did really well, but yeah. Uh, room number four, uh, he had Apoc, Eternals, Vol, and Emma in room four on defense. So I just MOE'd it, and it wasn't the most efficient, but it got the win against an Apoc, Eternals. So um, yeah, it worked well. Kang carried, as usual. Uh, room number five, uh, the absolute slapping that this was. Um, Eternals, Damage, and Cable did not beat it. Eternals, Tangled, and Cable still couldn't beat it. And then I had to come in with a Doom, Kestrel, uh, Iron Man, Infinity War, Nova, BTS. Uh, this was ridiculous. This team is absolutely yoked. Um, especially that, Sk that Sasquatch at three diamond. He was just taunting the whole match because I couldn't get him below. I think it's 75% health or 50% health. So he's just reapplying the taunt over and over and over again. Um, and then he full healed when he was at one health because he used a special and then the drain full healed him. Um, so yeah, this was not fun. Uh, if you have an alpha flight this big, put him on defense because why not? Uh, and then in room number six, we did the double sack and then we did a cabal Proxima um, Zemo um, comp here. So the Proxima was able to get a crit on Mephisto because everybody else had dodged except for Mephisto. So Proxima got the crit there. So this worked pretty well. Uh, Zemo had a chance to get a crit as well. So even if Proxima missed, that was an option. Um, so it worked pretty well, but unfortunately I lost by six points. Um, so let's check out the defense here. So he used... Um, he, uh, Undying, Dorm, Doom, full three diamond, all DPC characters except for Hello, which is freaking hilarious, honestly, against the Superior Six with a pre-taunt because I was afraid of the uh, Illuminati coming in here and deleting this. Um, room number two, Sacked with Gamma, came in with Cabal, BTS, Quicksilver. I don't know. He's got diamonds everywhere, dude. I don't know. Uh, room number three, he had Black Knight on offense, so he just out of time to my sus hive mind um sasquatch wow okay uh room number four uh tried to full spider society which almost worked if he changed his targeting honestly um which could be an interesting counter um because noir was able to ult on um bishop and it also hit old man logan and then he literally used the pav special on old man logan well didn't use it on old man logan should have and Old Man Logan would have died if he got the striker attack on him, but he didn't. Uh, then he came in with some kind of Black Cat, MLF, Omega Red... I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's all three diamonds. Everything's diamonds. And then he came in with just Kang, Death Seed. Kang, Death Seed. I, I, listen, I don't know. Uh, and then room number five, he used Gamma against Illuminati, which uh, um, you'll see in my counter everything video. You can actually use Gamma Dorm against an Illuminati, and it works well on a punch across. This was a million punch down, and it failed. So clearly things can go wrong. Then he tried to use Old Man Logan into this, which Black, uh, Black Panther Shuri cancels the assist. So not your best choice there. Um, also, no diamonds on Old Man Logan. What a scrub. Uh, and then full three diamond, nowhere this uh, as a cleanup. And then in room number six, used Illuminati to delete my extreme. Uh, once again, I did lose that by six points. That was unfortunate because I misplayed in room two. Uh, and then room number three, my opponent actually did not attack. Um, so I'll just show you my attacks. And then again, my opponent did not attack at all. So yeah, interesting. Um, round, uh, room number one, we used MOE against an ex a massive extreme. Gambit survived. I probably could have thrown Dorm in here over Ultron just as an insurance policy. Um, but stupid mistake, honestly. Dorm probably would have been able to, to clutch this out. But it is what it is. Um, so I had to two-tap it. Room number two, we used New Warriors against this thing. I've seen this multiple times now, and I don't know why. Um, all you have to do is focus the Doom side, so Doom gets rewound into Oblivion. You can let Tangled take turns because you have a over, you have 200% accuracy anyway. So New Warriors just slaps this team. You can see an 8370 is ridiculously good. Uh, room number three, we use SDCGR against a um, 
Spider Society Vol, which was interesting. Um, I don't really know the thought behind the Vol here, um, uh, other than maybe this was his defense from last round, or uh, last season, and this was the exposed room, but I'm honestly not sure. Uh, room number four, we used Cabal with Zemo and Vulture. Um, I believe we didn't get a crit here, so that's why this looked a little bit worse than it should have, um, but it still worked out well against a full out of time and four. Room number five, we got Illuminati going into a hive mind, and this was absolute overkill, but, I mean, there wasn't much else places to use my Illuminati because I couldn't really use them in room six here um, because that Sasquatch pre-taunt, but he had this thing in six, so I used Apoc Tangled, Rolk, and Emma, and this absolutely slapped it. Um, but I was definitely PTSD on that Sasquatch there because I thought he was going to delete me. Um, but yeah, so I went two and one, not too bad for the first week. We're at 18, 13 right now. So we'll see who we go against next week. Um, but let's get into my defense for week number two. All right, coming into room number one, we're going to be using extreme with all Raiders, but we're also going to throw Bishop in here as a little bit of a curve ball. Um, so what we want to do with Bishop is we want him to die. He's 113,000 power. He's going to be a pre-taunt. So if MOE goes into him immediately, he's going to die. Um, if new warriors go into him, Gwenpool Special can probably push him as well. Um, and if he gets pushed, Rogue automatically gets a taunt. And then you're just stuck on a G19 Rogue for a while, which is really nice. Um, also, if Bishop, if and when Bishop dies, uh, Forge gets turn meter as well. Um, so he's going to be able to get that ultimate up there and then um, give them a bunch of positive effects. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, so I'm just putting this in here. So it's a little bit of a curveball. If anybody wants to new warriors or MOE this, they can definitely mess it up or it can just soak efficiency either or I'm perfectly fine with. Um, but I know better. This isn't going to stop anything, um, but it's just an efficiency sink and it's something that people have to look out for. All right, room number two, and uh, I have Black Order Quicksilver here, and I know, um, again, my Black Order is not that big. Uh, we see Proxima, um, what's his name, Cole and Ebony Ma are like 160,000 power. It's literally just Thanos and Quicksilver. Um, I know things beat this pretty easily, but um, this is the best option that I have in room two right now that still takes something that uh, still takes something rather rather big, but it doesn't uh, take from my offense because I don't want to put like SD on defense because we need that for Spider Society and stuff like that. So I have Raider on Thanos, Striker on Quicksilver. Um, obviously, every time uh, Black Order takes a turn, Quicksilver gets a random positive effect. And if one of those are speed up, he's going to uh, destroy their faces because he's going to basic turn one. And then remember in room uh, two, they're going to ult uh, way quicker. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I like this team. This team has always been really, really good. Um, I actually put a second diamond on Thanos as well because I'm an animal. Um, other options, you could just put like Infinity Watch in here um, and maybe put Infinity Watch in room one and then put the extreme here um, so that they ult turn one a little bit faster. So maybe a Cyclops ult catches them off guard, Gambit ult, stuff like that. Um, but I like the Black Order Quicksilver. Now, if you have Mephisto, just throw in Mephisto here over Quicksilver, obviously. Um, and if you're not going to run this room, I will show you where you can use Quicksilver on defense elsewhere. All right, room number four. And this one is going to be an interesting one. So I have uh, Nightcrawler, Old Man Logan, Wolverine, um, Noir, and then we have Zombie Juggernaut. So the thought behind this is Nightcrawler, obviously Old Man Logan's best friend. Nightcrawler gets extra health to Old Man Logan, as well as Nightcrawler Special, which he will obviously do turn one in Vibranium Enhanced. Um, gives turn meter to Old Man Logan and gets a quick assist out there right away. Uh, the thought behind the Wolverine is Wolverine's just another X-Men here. So he gets dodge. Um, he also gets some of the buffs and he'll get some of the turn meter from Nightcrawler Specialing as well, which is really nice. Um, so Wolverine is essentially just another throw-in character and his special does a lot of damage. Um, and you'll see I have him as a striker. So his bleeds do more damage and then he'll get a triple tap with Old Man Logan when Old Man Logan assists. So that's great. Um, the Noir in here, Noir Specials turn one in this room. He does not ultimate. So if Noir Specials, and let's say the enemy brings in an Apocalypse, right? Noir will not land any positive effect or any negative effects, right? So if Noir doesn't land any negative effects, he gets 50% turn meter. So if Noir Specials gets 50% turn meter, and then if the enemy team has enough buffs, he could take two turns in a row, which means Old Man Logan assists twice in a row, which means Old Man Logan goes 20% faster because every time he assists, he gets 10% speed bar, if I'm not mistaken, or it's 20. 
can't remember. I think when he gets hit, it's 20. When he assists, it's 10. So Noir just makes Old Man Logan just go really fast. Nightcrawler goes at 180 speed because he's got speed up at 120 speed. So he's going to make Old Man Logan go really fast. And if Old Man Logan gets to claws out, you've lost. Congratulations. Uh, and then Zombie Juggernaut here is the pre-taunt so that MOE can't come in and just one-shot um, good old uh, Old Man Logan here. And also, he gets turn meter when he gets hit. So he's my And he's my biggest pre-taunt that I'm not using on offense, like Absorbing Man or anything. So Zugs made the list here. He's also a striker to work off of the Skirmisher triple taps from Old Man Logan. Um, I don't think it's worth it to change Nightcrawler to a striker, honestly, because he's always hitting multiple targets. So having more vulnerables out there is always really nice, and he's just a bona fide raider. But that's going to be my room number four. All right, room number five. We've got Illuminati on defense. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about here. So in general, if you uh, have not unlocked Black Panther Shuri yet, or you are about to unlock her, and you have not used Black Panther Shuri for the event that is going on currently... You can use Illuminati on offense for round one of week two because the event will still be going on. Um, so you can get those extra points if you've unlocked Black Panther Shuri by Sunday, uh, which you most likely will because the event was not too bad, honestly. Plus, they gave a bunch of shards out for free. Um, so make sure you're using them on offense. And if you are, um, you can throw like an Infinity Watch in room one and throw Extreme here or just throw Infinity Watch here as a placeholder. Um, but I would recommend keeping them on offense if you guys um, haven't done that for the event. Now, if you're going to have them on defense, this is the correct placement. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. You have, you need this placement. Period, plain, and simple. Shuri is two turns, two, uh, two turns away from her ultimate, so. Having ability energy go to Shuri is great because Iron Man does that with his special now. Same thing with Black Bolt. He's two turns away from his ult as well. So giving that adjacent energy to uh, these two is really, really great. Uh, Mr. Fantastic has all of his abilities turn one. And then Hank, you want Hank to special turn one. Besides, Hank goes way faster than Iron Man, Iron Man anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but this team in room five is just going to get tankier and tankier because they're going to have a lot of positive effects. They're also going to have safeguard for two turns, so they're not going to clear their positive effects, but they will heal still. So they're still going to get that 10% heal, but they won't clear their positive effects because they have two turns of safeguard. That's why Infinity Watch doesn't because they only have one turn. Um, so this team on defense is going to be really, really good. Um, but there are things, obviously, in my Counter Everything video that will be out um, tomorrow that you guys can look at to be able to beat this. So please check that one out. Um, but this team on defense is very, very good, even without Captain Britain. Now, if you do have Captain Britain, uh, Captain Britain will absolutely go where Iron Man is currently. So you're going to want Iron Man. Uh, Captain Britain's going to be where Iron Man is because Black Bolt's going to have one of the highest health pools on this team. So you want Black Bolt next to him. And then you want the three squishier members. I call Mr. Fantastic Squishy, but he's not. The two, But the two squishier members and the support on the opposite side over here on the right. And then Captain Britain will go right here. But like I said, if you don't have Captain Britain, this is going to be the team placement and this is going to be the ISOs. Um, absolutely perfect here. Um, but that's going to be my room number five. Coming into room number six, we've got Hive Sus Sasquatch. And uh, this is in room six because in room two, you've seen that counter that we can use with the Vulture Rolk APOC counter. So now you can't use that here because Vulture does not ult turn one. So this, this works really great in room six because this essentially pulls a Cabal. And if this is pulling a Cabal, they're not going to be able to Cabal your room number four, which is really, really good for you. Um, so this is a great, 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 great team to have in room six. Um, we have the Preton, obviously, so the Rolk comp can't do well here because you can't rewind Super Scroll or Void Knight. Uh, and then... Uh, the bigger your Sasquatch is, the more he's going to taunt over and over again. So that's really great. Um, but I'm going to keep this in room number six because this is still going to take a really big team. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my room six defense. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys got something good from this defense. And maybe if you tweak it a little bit and tell me down in the comment section below what you think will be better. Um, I absolutely think you should keep Superior 6 for offense this round because of Illuminati coming uh, and Captain Britain uh, coming on Friday, which is today for me, yesterday for you. So make sure you have Superior 6 
Emma Vulture for offense because that's going to be a great counter for that. Um, once again, my counter everything video will be out tomorrow on Sunday, so make sure you check that out for all your counter needs. But until next time, this has been Doolum. Later, y'all. Thank you.